begins in minuteness but ends in magnificence. The winner of the Infosys Prize in Mathematics is a professor at the Department of Mathematics at Stanford University. He, granted from the, he graduated from the University of Western Australia with honors at the age of 16. He received his PhD when he was just 21 from Princeton. But to tell you more, let me introduce you to Professor Srinivasa Varadhan, the jury chair for mathematical sciences. Professor Varadhan is a professor of mathematics and the Frank J. Gould Professor of Science at the Courant Institute of Mathematical Sciences, New York University. In 2011, he was awarded the highest honor bestowed by the United States government on scientists, engineers, and inventors, the National Medal of Science, for his work in probability theory. He is a winner of the Abel Prize in 2007 and was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Srinivasa Varadhan. Let me begin by reading the announcement. The Infosys Prize 2016 for Mathematical Sciences is awarded to Professor Akshay Venkatesh, Professor, Department of Mathematics, Stanford University, USA, for his exceptionally wide-ranging foundational and creative contributions to modern number theory. Akshay's unique ability to use wide-ranging techniques drawn from analytic number theory, ergodic theory, homotopy theory to address concrete problems in number theory and discover new phenomena attached to the essential unity of mathematics. With that said, let me say a few words that I wrote. The jury that selected Akshay Venkatesh this year consisted, in addition to myself, of Cedric Villani from France, M. S. Raghunathan from Mumbai, Chandrasekhar Kare of UCLA, Jennifer Chase from Microsoft, and Gopal Prasad from University of Michigan. My information is that Akshay actually received his PhD at the age 20, not 21. <laughs> and he has been a child prodigy from age zero, or even perhaps earlier. <laughs> he has won many awards as a student, as well as Ramanujan Prize from Shastra and Salem Prize from AMS. We are all familiar with numbers from an early age. We learn to count add, subtract, multiply, and divide. But then there are hurdles. The first hurdle is negative numbers. Or positive numbers, we can see two mangoes, two apples. But what are negative numbers? Minus two apples doesn't exist. So the fact that there are negative numbers requires some imagination on our part to believe they exist. So mathematicians that way have an advantage. When somebody else sees something, and want something, doesn't exist, he says, okay, it doesn't exist and gives up. Mathematician, on the other hand, creates it and can work with it, and things that don't exist suddenly come alive, like imaginary numbers. We can work with them. But in working with them, one has to be careful because they have to fit together with all the existing things people have created. After a while, you have a whole complex of these things and you have to understand how they work with each other, what is their interrelationship, and so on. And this is what modern number theory is about. It's all the things that look like numbers that people have created and understanding the relationship between them. And simple questions involving integers can often lead to hard problems in other subjects. For instance, Fermat's problem of finding triplets integers A, B, C, such that A to the 4 plus B to the 4 is C to the 4, is the same as asking 
for rational points on the curve x to the 4 plus y to the 4 equals 1, which looks like a problem in algebraic geometry. So natural questions in number theory have led to quite abstract and complex theories in an effort to answer them. The subject has been around for over a thousand years, and great minds have contributed to the field. Diophantus, Aryabhatta, Brahmagupta, Bhaskara in ancient times, as well as Fermat, Euler, Gauss, Riemann, Ramanujan, and many more in more recent times. L functions are functions that arise widely in different contexts in number theory as a tool and their properties of impact on various aspects of number theory. Riemann zeta function is one example. One of the early contributions of Akshay was in establishing important estimates for a class of them through a skillful combination of ergodic theory, spectral theory, representation theory. These estimates, known as subconvexity estimates, have many wide-ranging applications. More recently, he has been studying the home cohomology theory for locally symmetric spaces, in particular, torsion cohomology, proving some striking and unexpected connections. Besides discovering many new phenomena, he has made deep contributions to several branches of modern number theory. So the jury was very happy to choose Akshay for the winner this year. Akshay. Thank you, Professor. And here's Professor Akshay Venkatesh with thoughts on what keeps him going. I'm a number theorist, so that means I study whole numbers, integers, prime numbers, things like that. And at least for me, a lot of what that means, I'm looking for new patterns um, in the arithmetic of, of numbers. We deal with very complicated objects, and it's almost impossible to understand them precisely. But by working with examples, you sort of become friends with different parts of them. The structures you find in, in pure mathematics are very beautiful. At the end, everything fits together very perfectly, and so it's very satisfying to see that. My name's Akshay Venkatesh. I'm looking for new patterns in the arithmetic of whole numbers. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming on stage Professor Akshay Venkatesh. May I request Mr. K. Dinesh, anchor trustee, to join us. I request Dr. Ramakrishnan to present the Infosys Prize in Mathematics to Professor Venkatesh and Professor Vardhan, would you join the presentation, please? Thank you, sirs. Thank you, Mr. Dinesh. Thank you, Professor Vardhan. It's a great pleasure and honor to receive this award. I'd like to thank the Infosys Foundation for their generosity. Almost all of my work has been done jointly with others. So I'd like to acknowledge and thank all my collaborators uh, from whom I've learned a lot over the years. In fact, all of my work builds on the work of many other mathematicians over many decades. And so I think this prize recognizes not just my work, but the richness of the whole field of mathematics. Thank you. <laughs>